I'm so close to coming. One two zero. I love that. One two zero. I lo- <laughs> one two zero. One two zero. One two zero. I like thinking Faster, that like more. someone finds us on like iTunes or like NPR or whatever, and they're like, like, oh, I'm stuck in traffic. I'll just try I'll this. I'll try this one. And the second thing I say is, I'm so close to coming. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try this. I've I've already listened to the other 142 uh, comedy podcasts yes. in this. Uh, in this I've, I'll, I'll try 143. I've already listened to the 400th episode of How to Fix Things Around the House, featuring Bob Vila and Norm, uh, whatever his name is, because that's always Norm good. McDonald. Norm McDonald and Norm McDonald. Hey, so uh, <laughs> such a good podcast. <laughs> God, that would be a great podcast. Bob Vila. Oh, hey, Bob. So um, now kind of looks like a dick. Yeah. So um, looks like you. Uh, Looks like you're building things. Ha ha ha! Right, cue riotous <laughs> laughter. Ha 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 ha! Oh, so uh, I had to call nine eleven when you fell off the uh, that that ladder that one time. Actually, it's nine one one. Well, you know. See, very good. Very good. <laughs> An actual Norm Macdonald joke failed just as hard. I love Norm. Actually, I listened to Norm Macdonald's uh, like it was an eleven hour best of Norm Macdonald. His fans are really dedicated yeah i love when you find people who have <laughs> weirdo fans who are just like religiously devoted i like that a lot between him and that guy Artie lang they are well Artie lang's not a very good comedian but he has a lot of fans norm mcdonald's a great comedian and he has a loyal legion of fans who he would absolutely hate yeah <laughs> like like craft beer fucking dad sleep craft beer dad sleep fan center part fucking weasels in g- fucking in olive green car- cargo shorts. <laughs> and like, oh, I love Norm MacDonald and sleep. Uh, love sleep. it. Why, why is sleep becoming a thing again? This is the second time you know, in two days somebody has referenced sleep to me. I think orange amps have their fucking shit down. Because they're like, oh. I will say, all right, uh, sleep used to be asbestos death a minute ago, right? Mm hmm. I think it was, I, I'm not something of a different band, because the first Asbestos Death EP is a sick record. It's yeah. very good. Oh, yeah. Great name, too. Oh, really good. It's all one word, of course. Of course. Of course. Uh, <laughs> I, asbestos Death IPA. Yeah, exactly. That's, that's my new craft beer, <laughs> Asbestos Death. I only drink, first of all, Lagunitas, Asbestos Death, and only when I'm out. That's it. I'm Googling this now because I can't be satisfied until I know I'm right. <laughs> I really hope that death, that not, well, not death because death fucking rules. That stupid. Why do we get on sleep? That's so weird. I don't know. I really, I'm so curious as to why it keeps coming up. Like, it's like the <laughs> least, it's like somebody mentioning the band <laughs> Catharsis three times I in know. a week. Like, what is happening? I'm going to look him up too. Where's my horn? God damn it. Okay. I'm going to look him up, too. Everybody, this is great for radio. We're both yes, looking. Yes, the precursor to the highly influential sleep. All right, cool. Yeah. There's a new uh, type of dad, by the way. Asbestos death dad? Uh, fart dad. What is it? Fart dad. Fart dad? Clue me in. At the supermarket the other day, there's a dad who, you know the type. He's got a baseball cap, jean shorts. Uh-huh. Met shirt guy. Plain, yeah, Met, <laughs> Met shirt guy. Plain just does it like you know, kind of lean. Probably, probably played uh, college baseball. And the type of guy who um, 
doesn't think it's funny to fart loudly. Thinks it's manly to fart loudly. Oh, wow. I like him already. Yeah. And I, I saw this guy with a wife who, you know, they're obviously marriage convenience together for the Chevy. You know, who's going to fucking get the Chevy Blazer if we break up? Exactly. That's what I thought. So we're not getting a divorce. Um, and he fucking ripped one real loud and didn't even smile. But there was a, like, you know when you see two people who know what just happened and nobody wants to say anything? This motherfucker's a fart dad. He just likes to, he just lets it rip whenever. Because he's earned the right. Do you right. think that was, it was a, like a, what's the word I'm looking for? Ball. Like a, a contemptuous act towards his wife? Probably. You know what? When I was um, in 19, well, yeah, like, probably like 1990. I had a really dog-eared um, 1977 Hustler <clears throat> that I stole from my Uncle John, who uh, might be a listener. Stole it from uh, my... Sorry, grand- Uncle John. <laughs> Sorry, Uncle Johnny. Uh, but stole- look, at how, like, look at what that investment paid off in. Uh, you know what? That was the beginning of my corruption. I can trace yeah. it to that Hustler that I stole. I didn't, I'm, I can't, I'm not convinced that it was his, but he's the one who lived at the house. He's the youngest of all the kids. He lived at the house It'd be the funny as fuck if he stole it from somebody, too. Right. And then you got, got it stolen from you, and it's just this, this never-ending fucking degeneracy. A legacy. Dege- <laughs> Can we start a crust band called Degeneracy? I would love that. Degeneracy. Ladies and gentlemen. From Montreal, Quebec. Degeneracy. <laughs> when you start before you can even finish saying degeneracy. <laughs> just... <laughs> awesome with the drum live drum machine that would be uh, we, so we good. could write that record in a weekend we could definitely do that and be crust kings and then show up in a limo and look like zz top and be like fuck everybody we just took a thousand bucks because fucking it's a limo that's sewn together from parts from other limos <laughs> it runs on vegetable oil it's got the the amoebics fucking head <laughs> screen printed on the roof <laughs> But it's cool. It runs on vegetable oil. We open <laughs> open it up, and all these hot, crusty girls with like boas on. Barely, barely, so you can see the outline of their nipples. Wow! They come out, but also with the girls, also comes a wafts of smell out of the limo, and it's not weed. <laughs> it's armpits. It's just funk. Just a funk. Armpits. It's just that rotten vegetable smell you get when you haven't showered in weeks. <laughs> Yes, exactly. When you Cats get used, love to, it. They're always trying to stick their head into your armpit. When you get used to your own stink, you don't you know, smell it anymore. But everybody else gets knocked over. That's what we're talking about with the amoebic <laughs> amoebic's limo. First of all, <laughs> all right. What was the name of our band again? Degeneracy. Okay, degeneracy is the. Fu- I'm gonna write this down. Degeneracy is the band. All right. The sound will blow will blow the doors off any fuck any try hard hard. First of all, calling a punk like a crust punk a try hard is kind of an insult. Yeah. Because they didn't try hard at shit. Degeneracy. degeneracy. I would I would disagree. They're trying so hard at a thing that has zero chance for payback. It's interesting. <laughs> zero return. <laughs> yeah, like it's it's unreal. That's the name of the uh, first seven is zero return. Perfect. Perfect. We're gonna cut this next weekend. We're doing it. Do 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 And then a girl in the back. It'd be like it'd be like dirt, you know. It'd be great. Why? 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 It's my impression of uh, crust punk. <laughs> I wow. don't know neither. I don't know either. Why? 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 <laughs> Doo doom. Thank you. Fuck you. It's like those. Like you ever watch those videos oh, of nausea man. playing in Europe in the nineties? So they're it's they're they're so showered, <laughs> which is so good because they're playing in you know beautiful country. I think it's from like Sweden or whatever, and they're so showered yet they're they're trying to be so tough. And it's in like a very well lit, very polite crowd. That's that's the yeah. type of vibe we're going for. You know, we're gonna dress the way we dress, but we're gonna play better crust music than anybody else. But when people interview us, they expect 
fucking you know Zombo the baboon to show up. <laughs> Zombo, he fell through a hole in the ceiling and he'd been coming through the door. Yes, who will avenge Zombo? <laughs> the baboon. That's our our call. This entire tour is dedicated to Zombo the baboon who was killed mercilessly trying to save a precious child from the grips of capitalism. Three, four. I don't know either. Why? 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 Oh, with Bumps, his dogs appreciated that. Oh, wow. I don't even know why I'm living in this world. With the, do- oh, with the dogs. Zombo. Bar- <laughs> Zombo. Please give anything you can. There's a uh, bus. You know, it's, we're fucking pilfering from the Zombo fund to put gas in the van to get to the next shithole town. Um, but they've got the Zombo fund thing out for whatever reason. You know, okay, please give to the Zombo everything you have. Does, uh, even even some like change. Fucking pennies and spark plugs and shit pennies in there. And spark plugs. Someone puts like a a vegan cookie that they bought but didn't eat <laughs> in the, the Zombo Fund box. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that you know you guys could eat this cookie and stay up late working the phones for Zombo. <laughs> okay. okay. Thanks. I'm very excited. Uh, I'm very excited to, to, to let everybody know we've raised to seventy-two dollars for Zombo. Oh, it's too real. It's too it's real. Too real. It's too, too real. real. <laughs> Meanwhile, we're crossing the I'm country. I'm at work right now, and there's people like walking past the windows of the room, and I'm like crying right now. I'm just like, <laughs> oh boy. Everyone here decided to work late tonight, and they're just yelling. Yeah, so if you hear someone yelling in the back room, that's just everyone who works here. Are they working, it's are a they, Zombo. Are they working the phones for Zombo? <laughs> Bernie Sanders came. I just want to let everybody know that I think that what happened to Zombo was, uh, among other things, very wrong. Bernie, no, Bernie Sanders, you sound an awful lot like Bernie Getz. And he pulls back the fucking Max to reveal who it really is. And in fact, it's Bernie Getz, Mr. Accessible, Mr. AOL. Been him the whole time. It's been you the whole time, and I would have gotten away with it if it wasn't for your meddling crust punks and your fucking dead ape. <laughs> Light years. I love Bernie Sanders today. Came out that he's going to vote for Hillary Clinton. Love that. Yeah, grow a fucking dick. Super good. Are Super you, good. I mean, all all that effort. <laughs> all all that effort to watch an old man vote for Hillary Clinton. All that well Ru- done. We used to say a thing in the band. All that Russian for nothing. And here we are. Oh, Much ado man. about nothing. Uh, well, at, at the end of the day, uh, I'm going to vote for... It's not a vote for Hillary. It's a vote against Donald Trump. Okay, cool. Uh. <laughs> okay. And, and if, the, and if the, the vote comes down to one vote, then you look like a rock star. But not even, because it can't Cause mathematically it can't. come down to that. No. It's not a possibility. It's neat that he conceded without actually conceding. Yeah, but every person get all full quiet in Bernie Town. There's a dude next to me that has a Bernie Sanders fucking the, the same place that had the IRA shit on the door. <laughs> now has Bernie yeah. Sanders shit all over the front of the house, and it's wow. been all this full. guy is so confused. <laughs> I wanna, Holy shit! I just want to leave a bottle of old Granddad on the stoop for him. <laughs> he's going through a time right now. He woke up one day and he's like, "Oh man, I just can't." You know, I I, uh, I wake up I every morning. I need to morning. believe in something. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta do something. Um, maybe what's Mumia up to? Shoot, that's a cause I could get back into. I guess. What's Zombo the ape? Uh, Zombo. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, he's dead. Fuck, he's fucking dead too. Son of a bitch. Fuck, who killed Zombo? I want to know the name. I want to know the badge number. I want to be a sovereign, like sovereign citizen style. I want to know the name. I want to know the badge number. I want to know the social security number of the man, or or, or, I I will use that term very loosely, the man who killed Zombo. The person who thought that he could draw down arms on a defenseless creature just because he's big. Don't worry. Uh. Don't don't worry. We've got it covered. (laughs) All right? Degeneracy has got it fucking covered. Degeneracy's on it. It's not a problem. We might have $72 now, but 72 miles down the road, we might have 720 
when we work these phones. It's uh, you'd be surprised what a good orator I am for being in a crust band. It's uh, <laughs> it's, it's shocking. We got so a zombo. Get ready. We got a zombo call center, man. Everybody's working the the old timey phones. Yeah, the, we had enough left over to buy him a headstone. It's great. Yeah, all of our if weirdly all of our all of our crust funk, <laughs> all of our crust punk friends have iPhone the iPhone sevens. It's fucking really weird. I don't worry, you know. It's like if I stay on the family plan, it actually really fucks my parents over, so I don't even care. <laughs> okay. Um, All right. It just uh, occurred to me that we, we went down the uh, we fell down the Zombo hole without ever discussing the actual Hustler magazine. That got us. Oh yeah. Huh. Okay. So that <laughs> <laughs> and the, con- the context of what I'm not sure of. That was the that was the '77 Hustler. That was the one that I pilfered from my grandparents' house, no doubt left behind by one of my uncles. And that's where it all began. My first time I saw pubes, first time I saw anything, and it was so depraved. I wonder if I still have it. I think I still have my old porn mag stash at my parents' house, and if I do, God, I hope it's I'm just going to p- dump it out on the, the floor in front of my parents and be like, look, the jig, <laughs> check it, check it, all right? I hid this from you for 25 fucking years. At and least. Your mother's like, that was mine. I was wondering what happened to that. <laughs> my father's like, oh, jeez, I, uh, oh. So, uh, uh, well, uh, I'm trying to do an impression of my dad, and it's just not working. Yeah, that, that fell a little short. The per- <laughs> well, the thing you've got to understand is <laughs> that was mine. My father just stood over my porn mags and uh, masturbated on them. He didn't actually open them, which is really Boy. weird. Um, who, was, uh, who was on the cover of this? Do you remember? I don't even remember. Linda, Linda Evangelista. I have no Linda idea. Evangelista. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> I think it was Bernadette Peters. But this whole all comes back together, the fart dad, because I remember one of the ads in the back was a society for people who enjoy farting during sex. Whoa. Now, Andrew. <laughs> Damn, the 70s were fucking wild. <laughs> they sure were, and I want to bring it back. Now that we have 70s politics, you know, we have 70s England. Yeah, very much. Very I'm much. so thrilled for 70s England. 70s England. We, you, I've never seen it before. Like, nothing's going to happen. I fucking, I fucking made the mistake of checking my IRA today. That really bummed me out. But um, uh, other than that, whatever. Um, but it's going to be like, uh, you know, it's going to be wild again. We're in wild times. This is all the shit you want. Wild you times. secretly wanted. This is all the shit you secretly wanted, everybody. Oh, well, you know, we want to struggle. Don't forget to struggle, you know? Like... You fucking walk down your street and you look to the right down an alley and there's just a mattress on fire. Like, that's where we're headed. <laughs> we're headed back to those times. Only with way more stretch pants. That's it. I'm, like, I said today that nothing's going to happen. And I, I, I meant it in the one way, the, the kind of obvious way. But then I started to, like, right after I posted, I started to think, like, you know what? Like, yeah, nothing's going to happen, but, like, in the <laughs> worst way. In, like, the way where it's just, like, (laughs) if we were collectively all grown adults, we could take a beat and be like, can we have a do-over? I think maybe maybe we were a little wild there for a second. Let's have a do-over. We were wrong. We admit it. It's cool. Let's just try this again (laughs) with a clearer head. Do you ever get into a fight with somebody, like, when you're drunk or you're, like, tired or you're just, like, off? You had a bad day. Yeah. And the interaction is fucking shit from the get-go and you get into a fight and the next morning you wake up and you just feel warmth toward this person again you're like all right you know what let's, let's pretend last night didn't happen yeah were we all adults we could do that yeah. societally no, no. but we we can't like it's 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 an impossibility no because we're in so, love we're in love with parchment apparently yeah yeah <laughs> exactly why. so nothing's gonna change so look. nothing will happen but also nothing will happen no no it's, it'll be great but it'll be New, interesting, dangerous um, <clears throat> for a lot of people in England, I guess. You know, essentially, it's going to be run by hooligans, and your president's going to be named Boris. So, yeah, like, that's pretty it's exciting. Wild, wild. Uh, Kai, if you want to sleep on my couch, you're you're more than welcome to uh, to come over here and uh, and post up. Yeah, Odai, uh, Odai, same thing. We're, we're all I say yeah. There's there's I can count on a ninja turtle hand the amount of people in the UK that I'm concerned for, and uh, yeah, let's get them over here. What about Brian Ferry? Brian Ferry can fuck off. He can fucking go. He can go handle himself. <laughs> he does him own, and his millions of dollars. Him and his millions of dollars, thinking he's better than everybody else. <laughs> what do you think? You're better than me? Oh, wow. yo, you got an extra dollar? What do you think? You're better than me? 
Uh, what do you think you're better than me is going to be the fucking war cry Love of the it. dumb for the next decade. Yes, must be nice guy. Must be nice. It's actually going to be kind of thrilling, though, because, like, for so long, the fucking, the, the, like, the activated Islamic fucking terrorist has been the concern. Yeah. And this whole time, <laughs> right as this right dude's now. been, like, doing cave shit and blowing shit up and everyone's really worried about him and whatnot, the populace of true morons, true, <laughs> like, swamp things, um... That's really been building a base, and now here we are. And now, rather than... We just had 10 years of Islamic terrorist, and now we have 10 years of just dope white person. Like, it's going to be... Uh, it's going to be something else. I love it. I'm really excited. I... I I realize I said dope white person, and that can be uh, that can be taken <laughs> the other way. Um, dope white. Mouth-breathing cave person. Is that is that better? Like actual idiot person should have lit themselves on fire, but just through statistics has somehow managed to not. Oh, uh, yeah, that that's going to be the new public enemy number one, and there's said. so many of them. And somehow, for some reason, a couple hundred years ago, we decided that they should have equal voting rights, even though they can't read or comprehend basic things. So we're fucked on that, um, <laughs> and we can't. For some reason, we don't have a test to be able to register to vote. Like, you don't have to prove that you're capable of understanding concepts in order to give your opinion on them, um, which is also wild ass. So we're fucked on that. Um, so it's just going to be 10 years of, like, uh, like, like mole people Let's just, just fucking, pushing their weight around. It's the 80s. Let's party. Fuck mole people. Yeah. Let's just drink, fucking ride in the back of pickup trucks to beaches and shit. Let's just have fun. Watch beaches with Barbara Hershey. Every day is uh, every day is heavy metal parking lot from every, here on it's out. It's true, man. Living after midnight. Speaking of living after midnight, <clears throat> um, I have a. Uh, let's see here. Oh no, I, I actually have a new trailer that we can listen to. Would you like to listen to? Perfect. That? I okay. would love to. Um, this is so quickly we... becoming my favorite part of the show, where we <laughs> listen to a trailer. <laughs> listen, this is another Charles Bronson joint because that just gives us. So much fun. Um, but it's a little different with a twist. All right? He's already we been must talk about Kenjite after <laughs> this. <laughs> yes. We're going to have a Kenjite uh, recap. But first, ladies and gentlemen, the trailer from the Charles Bronson movie from 1972, Killer of Killers, a.k.a. Oh, yeah. A.k.a. The Mechanic. Charles Bronson, the number one box office star in the world. In The Magnificent Seven, The Great Escape, The Dirty Dozen, the Valachi Papers, Mr. What? Majestic, and Death Wish. He has shown a magnetism unequaled in motion pictures. <laughs> now, Charles Bronson, killer much. of killers. Holy oh, shit. One man who does what the police can't do. <laughs> what the government won't do. <laughs> Holy shit, he just shot a guy in bed. He stops the underworld. <laughs> He did it again. Oh, then he blew up. The pushers. That's against the law. Executing the murderers. The murder is only killing That's without a license. Sense. And everybody kills. Exterminating Whoa. the rats who run organized crime. Nobody lives forever. <laughs> he hunts down the men. You'd like to hunt yourself. Jesus. Man. Get away with it. it depends on the book of rules you have in your pocket at the time. One of the tools of the trade, my friend. <laughs> God damn, he's a very long trailer. <laughs> but it's so awesome. He just drove a dirt bike through a wedding. He is cool. I agree completely. Killer of killers. Charles Bronson, he makes your will make your wife come for the first time in twenty years. That was a quality fucking trailer. And now that it's the eighties again or the seventies again, <laughs> we get to look forward to living through Death Wish, which oh, is really fucking hell exciting. Yeah. 
It's going to be I so good. I love when things are so bad that culture has a fucking artistic outcry for how bad it's getting, where people just go fucking go on like Fuck a yeah. man push too far style rampages. One of my man push too far rampage and home invasion movie <laughs> guaranteed sell for me, regardless of anything else. If if there is a man pushed to the limit or there is somebody trying to defend their home against outsiders, I will be fucking front and center watching that movie. This trailer has it all. He drove a dirt bike through a wedding. I mean, he shot a guy in bed. He shot another guy in bed, and then his apartment exploded. How cool is that? Really good. Definitely watching Death Wish tonight. Yeah, and Jan Michael Vincent's there in in a minor role. It's great. And the guy Um, said you can't... His guy said, who cares? You can't live forever. And then he turned the ignition, and his car blew up. (laughs) <laughs> what timing? Do you ever want to set Prophetic. a car? You ever want to set a car bomb? I really kind of do, <laughs> but just like a funny car, like like if Goody, if, if like if Goody shit. got a car. <laughs> He's got plenty of time to get away. Yeah. There's a note that explains it in great detail. He's got about five minutes. He's just some piece of pace shit. around for five minutes waiting for his car to blow up. Some piece of shit Ford Escort wagon, 1999. He's like, oh, hold on. We're clearly hiding 20 feet away. Like, you can see the tops of our heads. You can hear us <laughs> wheezing, fucking gasping for air, because we're, we're, we know this dumb fuck's going to turn that ignition on anyway and start the whole thing. It's going to be so good. <laughs> but then we ended up murdering our friend because he didn't read the directions. He's so tired. Yeah, he didn't, so tired. He just, last night. I'm, like, I'm going to read it later. Boom. Said he's dead. We, oh, my God. We killed Goody. We had to call his mother. He told me he blew him up. <laughs> Hey, um, uh, it's like the time I had to call his mother and tell her that he be, he had been arrested, but <laughs> slightly worse. But way worse. You're like, hey, bring, bring. Uh, hey, um, <clears throat> hey, Mrs. Goody, uh, this is how. Yeah. I, I would have told you on Facebook, but it, it felt informal. Yeah, I would, uh, would, have, would have told you on Facebook, um, since you had poked <laughs> me that one time. But um, uh, uh, I don't know how to tell you this, um, so I'm just going to come out and tell you. Um, we. Put a you know that new car that uh, Sean got? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's nice. I, oh, oh, you co-signed on it. No, that's I, I, fun. This will be a fun conversation on many levels. You got a loan on a '99 Ford Escort wagon. Okay, okay. Well, okay. It probably got probably mint condition. Look great. Um, <laughs> you financed them. Okay, so we probably did you a favor. Um, <clears throat> okay. Uh, so we thought as a gag, we um, we're gonna like set a bomb in the car. My, 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 well, let me finish. Jesus, let me finish. I didn't even say what kind of bomb yet. Why are you yeah. jumping to conclusions? Jesus Christ. Though you were correct. It was it was the kind that you <laughs> had speculated. We put, um, we, we're not, we're not the mechanic, so we don't know how much C4 to put on, so we just put it all <laughs> on. All right? <laughs> we're not the mechanic. <laughs> <laughs> all right? We're not the killer of killers here. So we don't know what to do. So we ordered C4, and they, they gave it to, I don't know how much to use. So we put the whole thing there, and um, Sean, along with his car and uh, the entire front of his building, <laughs> were destroyed. <laughs> and uh, um, I found one red Doc Martin. And if you want it, I can, uh, you know, get it back to you. Um, you want me to explain it again? No. <laughs> Okay. Um, all right. All right. So we killed, where did we, you lose the plot? Just okay. for uh, for efficiency's sake. I, oh, they, oh, you were being okay. She, she was being uh, okay. She was rhetorical. All right. So I, well, I mean, you know, we can have a little get to gathering. You know, uh, no charges. No. Get together. Come on, these things blow up all the time. You know, it was a faulty fuel line. What do you want us to do? You know. Well, all right. We'll tell. We'll see you at the. Uh, the memor the Viking funeral, the memorial at the Stewarts on Whitehall Road. <laughs> <laughs> Click. That's how we break the news. To That's it. That was actually easier Miss- than I thought. Yeah, poor Mrs. Goody. We've uh, as a joke, we murdered your son and injured <clears throat> uh, six other people. Um, that's a hell of a joke. And it's a hell of a gag. If you want to be honest, I mean, let's just 
you know, strip away the, all the yeah, bad take, stuff that take happens. Take yourself out of it yeah. and just look at it objectively. Yeah, from the, the put, put yourself at the 10,000 foot level. That's kind of funny. <laughs> you know, Ren Ren Ren, he, he no way, didn't know I'll hit him. You know, it's not like it was, an, it was a slow, slow, uh, we shot him in the stomach with a 22 and he just bled to death in the street. You know, it was like a, a instant, you know? He was born, he was created in an instant. You know, things happen. Things happen. Can I get you? Can I get you another buttered hard roll? <laughs> this is us. This is us hashing it out at the Stewarts. <laughs> Next to the big like fucking yeah. ice cream cone on the side of the building. <laughs> can I get you another peanut butter hard roll? <laughs> can I get you? Um, <laughs> Like how we're at the memorial. Guys, we show a little respect here. And we're not trying to argue, all right? What's done is done. We're like really trying, really trying to like like negotiate and like navigate any type of legal wranglings. Like we don't know what happened with the detonators. <laughs> okay. We You're gonna have not, to ask Russia. We don't know. Yeah, we're not professionals. Right? We're not the mechanic. <laughs> <laughs> so Andrew, it's, it's vacation season. <clears throat> Where would you where if we were going to go on a vacation where do you think you would go I have no idea right, I, the concept of being able to take a vacation right now is so fucking laughable to me well, um, how about Hershey Park What is in Hershey Park and why would I go there Well that's where they make Hershey candy Not selling me hard on this well, Hold on it's in Pennsylvania <clears throat> Oh, okay <laughs> great well that really sweetened it's the deal close, what else it's close is, to, is it on fire It's close to New York it's the whole town smells like candy. Uh-huh. And um, what I thought about this, uh, I thought about this when I woke up the other day. At Hershey Park, like any motel you go to, if you see brown marks on the sheets, is it chocolate or poop? Or a combination thereof. <laughs> like, are you laying in bed eating a gigantic Hershey Kiss? Like the kind you used to get for your birthday and eat, only eat half? <laughs> or are you like, were you having anal sex and needed somewhere to wipe off? Yeah. Or both? Using using the melted Hershey's Kiss as, uh, <laughs> as a makeshift lubricant. That's You know, that's good. It's uh, technically, it's like using vegetable oil or anything else. You know, it's food-based. Mm-hmm. It lasts. Um, good. Uh, you know, it's not, it's not too slick, so you still feel something. I recommend using melted chocolate as a lube. Nine, Give it a shot. Nine out of ten times. All you lovers out there, all you people who are adventurous and like to um, <clears throat> do butt stuff, do it. Just do it. Just do it. Just, just get after it. Use use the chocolate fucking uh, use the candy bar <laughs> as uh, as lube and just get after it. Believe it. Like leave it in your pocket all night and be like, I know what I'm gonna do later on. You know. <laughs> <laughs> like you buy a, you're like oh that's weird he bought like a, you know a pack of smokes Hershey bar you know little does she know in the in the moment in the moment of glory when she thinks she's gonna get it doggy style from behind you know what that means when you get it from behind instead Are you asking me yeah do I know what that means yeah I have a I've got an idea I think we uh, <laughs> we cleanly illustrated it about 30 seconds ago <laughs> okay so she's on all four and i'm i'm coming in, i'm coming in you know i'm coming, coming in hot i'm coming in hot. i'm coming in hot like a scud missile talk about 90s references for everybody <laughs> i'm coming in like a scud <clears throat> but i've got the melted chocolate bar in my hand and just suddenly she hears the rapper she's like oh that devil I know why he's. <laughs> I know why he's using that shit. I thought he just liked chocolate. I thought he just wanted to maybe split a bar of chocolate on the ferry home. Nope. 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 I'm waiting till that shit gets room, not room temperature, body temperature, because I'm interested in 98.6. Bitch. Jesus <laughs> Christ. I want. I like my chocolate 98.6. <clears throat> Melted. Wow. I wrap it around, and ooh, ooh, ooh. she's like, oh, this is going to be messy, but worth the risk, you know, because she's got those new targets. Luckily, she- we're in a fucking a, a two-star hotel in Hershey, Pennsylvania. <laughs> yeah, so nobody knows, exactly. Not a big deal. It's, it's, you know, you call the front desk, and you're like, there's shit, there's shit stains all over this fucking bed, and they're like, it's chocolate, we're in Hershey. 
And they're like, no, I really think it's oh, just shit everywhere. No, I, I, it's, it's shit, sir. It's shit. I'm certain of this. <laughs> they're like, no, no, everybody says well, that. How, how do you know? How do you know? I know. Ask I know. It. Let's not have a thing. I just I, know. Can you just get, I mean, do you have clean sheets here? And they're like, no. I mean, it's just I Maybe we're approaching the conversation wrong. Maybe. <laughs> all right. No, it's quibbling just, over terms. I mean, this is what you get for getting a cut rate. Like a thirty dollar a night motel. I agree. It's the Hilton or nothing for me from now well, on. Well, then what do we go to the Hilton in Hershey? You and me, because we're going on vacation there. And then they, we we pull the we got a single because it's you know um, economical. <clears throat> yeah, economical. But we're at the Hilton, so we can tell people when we're at the Hilton. You know, if we go down to the bar attached to the hotel, and we're like, "Yo, we're upstairs, women," <laughs> 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 and we got the cho- we both got the chocolate bars going. And I, I'm like, yo, how's your bar doing? He's like, yo, it's almost melted. Come on, let's keep going. You know, and then, like, we're like, yeah, okay, my, my chocolate bar is completely melted. Let's seal this fucking deal, man. You know, we do the wingman shit. But then we pull the bedspread back, and it's sh- fucking shit stains everywhere. And we don't know if it's shit or fucking chocolate. I See, I do. It's definitely shit. Because if you're staying at the Hilton, you're using white chocolate. Mm. That's the whole thing. You know, you're going to get a class up the joint a little bit. God damn. Master, the master class here. That's shit. That's that you, what you're that, looking at is shit. It's, it's a, and I call the front desk and I say, look, I'm going to, this is Hershey, Pennsylvania. I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt. But there's shit on this bed. And I don't, I, and I cut them off. And I said, no, 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 don't give me that chocolate. Fucking, don't give me that mumbo jumbo. All right. I'm not Zombo the ape here. I'm a man. And he's like, oh, yeah. Though. And then we end up talking about, no, yeah, it's fucked up about Zombo. And then, uh, <laughs> okay, <laughs> we turn on the TV and they're, they're recovering and they're having Zombo's funeral. Oh, man. It really sucks the air out of the room. And the women are like, <laughs> oh, my God, I forgot all about Zombo. You know, we went out drinking just to forget about Zombo. And here we are. And it's like on CNN. It's like, fuck, motherfucker. Who, who are you? Yeah, Andrew has to watch the news before we go down to the bar attached to the hotel. We couldn't have put it on MTV. <clears throat> I'm like, hold on, girls, hold on. All right, nobody have let's let's have some fun, fondue. Because <laughs> we're in Hershey, we have to have chocolate, everything. We're like, oh, that's good. And then we set up a fondue pot on the bed. <laughs> when we <laughs> we smuggled in dark chocolate because fuck you, Hilton. We're gonna do what we want. Oh. And you're like, you know what? Dark chocolate puts me in the mood for anal sex. How about you? And she's like, dark oh. chocolate and televised ape funerals. <laughs> <laughs> we we leave the funeral on out of respect. <laughs> we, we put it on mute though. We don't need to hear yeah, Zombo's mom gets up there. Okay, okay. Wolf you know. Blitzer talking about yeah. Zombo. So now we have uh, Zombo's best friend from high school coming up to say a few words. Like, okay, put it on mute. Thank you. All right. <laughs> and then. Uh, you know, and then we do it. We do it raw style, you know, on a single bed. And she's facing one way, and you're facing the other. So we're looking at each other, you know. At that uh, you're one. like high fiving. Yeah, hoping that you know, high fiving, big time. Like, man, we did it. We're really here. We laughed about it. We cajoled each other that we're never gonna do it, but we did it. Here we are. Hershey, and the whole town smells like chocolate. So we don't even have to wash after this. Oh, fuck. Go right back out. Just fucking do it again. <laughs> oh, one of these girls is in the mood for Denny's. We're going. Uh, oh, I'm uh, hungry. You know what? <laughs> After sex, I really just want greasy fries. Cool. All right. Cool. So we go to Denny's. <laughs> cool. You know, we go to Denny's and I wash up. <clears throat> I'm spreading my hands all over the fucking walls. I'm like, oh, they seem to not care. You know? Whatever. <laughs> it's a fucking Nightmare. Nightmare. Then we go to then we go to Denny's, and they bring us chocolate dipping sauce for the fries. <laughs> I was like, "What is this fucking crazy? Why?" I stand up on the on the booth seat, and I say, "Why do all of you live here?" And they say, "Because the anal sex is so good with her. She's chocolate." Damn! Wow. Whole town's in on this. We're not the, new at this. The cop standing, the cop guarding the Denny says, it's all about the anal sex with the chocolate. Wow. Anyway, <clears throat> sorry about that, a little digression. <laughs> sorry about that degeneracy we got ourselves in. <laughs> I like how I'm cracking myself up. 
about my Hers my Hershey Park bit. <laughs> God. Holy fuck. All right, are you ready for a second date, Dice? <clears throat> uh, yeah, yeah, go ahead. All right. Are these new dice? No, I was. I told you I was going to go to Spencer's today. I totally blew it. God damn it. I know. Next time. These always sound like I'm brushing my teeth. All that right. sounds like you're brushing your teeth? What are you, a cartoon character? That's like a Ren and Stimpy teeth. No, I brush my teeth with gravel. It's fucking read, ah, right. read life hacker. I'll tell you. How to do. Um, okay. <clears throat> Enter into a codependent circle of hell. That's wow. <laughs> that sounds so good. It's fucking. You think that sounds good? Okay. All right. Um, I'm trying to try again. Okay. Rent. Uh. U-Haul, because I'm moving in. Oh, my God. Jesus. After the second Dice date. aggressive. Holy fuck. I'm going to try it one more time. Your. <clears throat> Oops. <laughs> Fucked it up. I actually read it before I rolled it. <laughs> okay. Your. <laughs> ass. Is mine. <laughs> fuck. I fucked it up. Jesus. Forget it. <laughs> Anyways. Can... Um, <clears throat> yeah, so. Trying desperately to log into the Tumblr while listening to you fucking fuck up on the dice. I just cannot get in for some reason. It's not allowing me. Not allowing you. The, uh... No, you're going to have to answer. You're going to have to ask these questions. All right. Um, <clears throat> hey, Andrew, I really want to hear you talk about the OI. Are we doing questions now? Yeah. yeah un unless you, uh, unless you, you have, do you have content? Do you have, do you have uh, no. notes? Do you have I, I haven't touched have, one uh... of these notes except for Hershey Park. <laughs> Except for Hershey Park. The amount of shit I have in my Evernote for notes for the show that go untasked is, is like, incredible. Uh, 20 notes of just... And when you go back, I don't know what the fuck I was talking about. It's like when you wake up in the middle of the night, you jot something down. No context. No idea what any of it means. Like, it's it's pretty wild. This is my new favorite song. I tell you, wow. mm, I tell you, Princess Vitara has got it going all the way on, and that song is called Nigerian Pussy. She's only has wow, two songs damn. out. Just about thirty thousand listeners, but hopefully more now that I've given her some plug. Was that you honking the horn? That was your. That's <laughs> yes. how you got into this. Bam, bam. I bought uh, Princess Vitara a car, and she wow. teased me with her Nigerian mm -hmm. pussy, but Jesus. didn't but didn't let me hit. So now I'm. You have sitting. such a fucking active social life. It's really wild. I do. Now, on the real tip, uh, <clears throat> Young Box is, uh, <laughs> which has become her nickname on the friend zone. But uh, she, and she's to and she's totally into it. She's like, I like that name. I think I'll use it. Yeah, I, I got a timer running on that one. Yeah, give no it, shit. Uh, yeah, give it a no, couple days. We'll see how that goes. This is like the chess timer where you can take like forty-five minutes to make <laughs> one move. So this will be good. Um, <clears throat> no, yeah, you see, I mean, Young Box are going real strong. Feeling good. She's in down for whatever, man. She she's uh she's good. She, we're we're thinking we're thinking and we're drinking. Things are great. Um anyway. I just saw your face, Andrew. Um <clears throat> So Very questions. Nice. I got them open here. Hey Andrew, I really want to hear you talk about the <clears throat> Oi Poloi show in the forest that you and Joe Pianta mentioned in the friend zone. And that was from friend zone member Corey. Um it was really weird. I don't remember much of it. Uh, there was definitely a point where people were, like, fighting with sticks. And not in, like, a fun way, but in, like, a let's do battle kind of way. No, I wasn't there. I have no fucking idea. That's, uh, <laughs> you're, you're misunderstanding the, the story. Joe attended that alone, and then we attended a different show later. Uh, yeah, that's all I got. I'm sure it was remarkable. Though. I'm sure it's fantastic. <laughs> Watching four aging skinheads play songs about gardening, I'm sure, was a uh, a turning point in everyone's lives. Well, um, I don't remember either. I think I was just a little too cool to hang out with you yeah. guys. Never. 
Although we did say one of your records is on sale on eBay right now for nine hundred dollars. Yeah. Nine hundo. Nine hundred dollars, Andrew. How do you feel yep. about that? Do you want that? I feel fucking great. I feel fantastic. No, I, already, I got like two of those. There's an end of your tank top for six hundred. Yeah, hell yeah. This is this is what it's all about right here. Yeah, this is the you know fuck the Hall of Fame, fuck the Mona Lisa, fuck the Louvre. If your shit's going for over five hundred on eBay, you've arrived. How much can you sell my shit for? That's what matters. How much can you sell my fucking shit for? For real. Owned by, once owned by. That's what all, all I want to hear. My guitar strap. Certified. My guitar. My pink guitar. I could sell it. Certified. It's like orange now. Yeah. It's like fucking, <laughs> it's like selling an orange amp. It's like touring with an orange amp. It's wonderful. Hey, who, where'd my app go? Where's my app? Where's my thousand? Where's my two thousand dollar app? Anyway, <laughs> where's my two thousand dollar app? I need to know where that is. Um, <clears throat> uh, hey, Hans and Andrew, I just tried googling the U.S. dollar to pound exchange rate, and it showed me a picture of the feral child from the Road Warrior. <laughs> Should I be concerned? Oh man! No man, I just, I dumped a couple hundred. I've been answering this question in like every fucking format of social media today. I dumped a couple hundred into uh, foreign currency today. I'm not gonna lie, because it's gonna go back up, and uh, I'm gonna reach for the golden ring. You're probably gonna double Here's my the deal, money. Though. It of course it'll go back up. Yeah, you'll you'll probably double your money. Um, <laughs> now, as far as being concerned about where the the pound is right now when you watch news it's fucking total free fall it's a nightmare like people are like hoarding foreign passports and all this wild shit yo (laughs) the british pound was at roughly the same level as it is now in february like it's not an (laughs) unprecedented situation it's like it's not great but (sighs) here's the deal i i I kind of explained this earlier in the podcast i'm not gonna do it again yeah, everything's going to be, like, the same. It's not great now. It won't be great then. It might be worse for some people. It may be better for others. It doesn't make a difference. Uh, in five years, the problems you have the problems you have right this second in your personal life, the things that ca- cause you to not be able to sleep, five years from now, regardless as to what happens to the U.K., U.K. can be on fire, and you will have those exact same problems. It's whatever. It's fine. Just forget it. Don't worry about it. Understood. I'm, I'm not worried about it. until until there's an Iraqi tank coming down Central Avenue. I don't care. Even then, we'll find a way to <clears> fucking <throat> make it not that big of a deal. It's Red all right. Dawn, that shit. You think I'm you, you know you think I'm gonna take a look at? I mean, I'm I was just gonna tell you to look around my room, but look around my room. I've got shit I need to protect. God damn it! I've got this Dell computer. I worked hard for that. <laughs> I've got this this mic that Andrew gave me, a good <clears throat> friend of mine. It's like when Bruce Willis goes back for the watch in Pulp Fiction. It's got to go back. I mean, I, I, I'm in the North Way, and I'm like, God damn it, I forgot the, the mic that Andrew gave me. Like, we got to go back. Young Vox, we got to go back. And then I see fucking reanimated Goody when, when I'm driving, and I floor it and run him over. Because <laughs> they blew into so many bits that he became other people. God, God, what if we kill Sean Duty, but then for the rest of your life, you always see him in your rearview mirror? <laughs> you never actually turn around and see him, but he's always just there. And he never says anything. He just looks at you. Like sitting in the back seat? or Sitting driving. in the back seat of any car you're in. That's all right. What if, he, what if, no we're, in, what. What if we're in the Amoebix limo and we're not, we can't see the rearview mirror? He's still there. You like you every now and then you like <laughs> you'll lean over to get like a, a, out of the champagne cooler to get like a fucking bottle of Mad Dog Twenty Twenty, and daiquiri. uh and yeah. you can see him. You can just see him right there. He's just balefully looking at you. <laughs> hey, I mixed this strawberry daiquiri in a T-shirt. You want some? <laughs> oh my God! I can see Goody's face in the strawberry daiquiri that somebody mi- it's mixed. It's there. The- I just saw it. Hey, I'm using it like I'm using two T-shirts. It's like cheesecloth. Nothing can get through it. You want to make? I'm making strawberry daiquiri. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah sure, uh, Overlord. Uh, I'll have uh, stroke me and my my young my girl here. What's your girl's name? Um, Young Box. What? Young Box. <laughs> Name's Young Box. Okay. <clears throat> this is Overlord Turbo. Uh, 
Uh, this is um, you guys, big degeneracy fans. Yeah, I fucking love them. God, they're very dark. You know, it's like uh, I was thinking about going back to college, and then I heard them. <laughs> I was thinking about going back to tr Apex Tech, and then I <laughs> <laughs> and then I heard degeneracy again, and it was like, how do they pull that shit off with the drum machine on stage? It reminds me of it reminds me of Citizen Dick. Okay, that's well, more decorative, right. please. Yeah, yeah, so go, um, go back to sleep. I've got a phone call to make, Andrew, <clears throat> and I hope that... Oh, shit. Surprise to you, surprise to me. <clears throat> I've got an idea, and uh, this, is something, this is something... Thank you for calling Sam Ash Music, America's favorite music store since 1924. For store hours and address... Oh, uh, God. No wonder you're going out of business, Sam Ash. <clears throat> Don't ask me why I'm calling. Mention Hollywood. This is Shock. Can I help you? Hey, is this, uh, is this Sam Ash? This is Sam Ash. You guys, you guys hear about Bernie Worrell? Nope. Oh, Bernie Worrell from uh, P-Funk died. Oh, did he? Yeah. Just heard it on the news. Wow. You know who this is? What's that? You know who this is? Do, do I know who this is who I'm speaking with? No, yeah. I don't know who this is. This is uh, Dan Hagar, Sammy's brother. How's it going? Okay. How you doing there? Oh, doing real Jesus good. Jesus Christ. Oh. <laughs> yes, uh, we're just, I'm over in Westwood, and I'm, uh, Westwood Music's closed, so I figured I'd come over here where I'm looking to buy some, uh, looking to buy some gear, uh, a couple guitars. You have a, you could do like a VIP treatment or anything? You have like a roped off area? We don't have a roped off area, now. Oh, okay. <laughs> Um, just, you know, just in case anybody want, uh, like starts bugging, I just don't want anybody to bug me. I just want anybody to bug uh, me when I'm... Uh, uh, we have a lot of high-end people come in all the time. We know one never gets bugged here. All right. You guys think you recognize me when I come in, or...? Uh, probably not. I, pro I look just like my brother. Then, then we might. Yeah, I'll just tell, you know, just tell him Sammy's coming in. It's all the same. You know, I'll start signing autographs, whatever. Um, he doesn't care. Uh, but uh, okay. he well, says hey, anything else I can help you with because I got a line of customers. I know, just one more thing. Sammy said <laughs> that uh, Sammy said he's got a line of credit there. Uh, you think I could uh, open that up? Or uh, uh, I don't think uh, you'd have to. You'd have to have him. I don't know if we could do that, but we can figure something out when you get here. Yeah, I'll, I'll give him a call and you can talk to him. Sure. Okay. Yeah, and you can ask. My name is Shock. S H O K. Oh. Uh, uh, okay. All right, Shock. All right. I'll talk to you later. <laughs> Holy fuck, this gets worse and worse. <laughs> shock. Thank you, Shock, from Sam Ash. You're the best. Wow, all right. Damn. Jesus, sweet Lord in heaven. <laughs> Dan, Dan Hagar. And then I told Dan him I was Hagar. Don Hagar, I think. <laughs> I, can't, I can't even deal. Um, Jesus. <laughs> You guys got a roped off area um i think right now is a good time to uh well we're on questions i guess we didn't get a, we didn't get a ton of great questions what's the best way to tell somebody crystals are dumb crystals are dumb yeah <laughs> that's it crystals are dumb yeah, don't lie it's just just like rocks. you know crystals are dumb yeah it's just rocks. every time you lie about some stupid shit you have to create like an alternate reality you gotta like fucking juggle with where you're like you have to like oh that's right i pretended to not hate crystals around this person now i gotta like fucking put that hat on say crystals are dumb just be done with you it you know yeah exactly and then then you're, you're always you're always at at, at, a, at an eye level with somebody yeah exactly it's just yeah, whatever and if that person if you're if a person freaks out on you because you think crystals are dumb chances are there's not a whole lot of reason to be around them yeah <laughs> Really true. Oh, your root chakra is just totally off. I don't know what that means, and I know I don't like it. I, so. I have an idea, and I don't like you. Yeah. You know, I'm good. Yeah. Thank you, though, for my root chakra. <laughs> Thank you for my root chakra, my uh, my tea. You made me a little bit of tea earlier. You didn't even tell me what was in it. Uh, it just tasted like... Uh, <laughs> I know, it just tastes like grass. It tasted like grass tea. Oh, that was... Uh, Okay, that was reconstituted uh, bull fur. Wonderful. Mm, Thank you so shit. much. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, oh, uh, you know, you're gonna be gonna give me the whole history of the bull. Okay, oh, didn't don't, don't we get to like have sex later? Uh, 
think we should, uh, you know, to try a t- tantric. You know, yantra <laughs> plus mantra. I was reading about tantric. Yeah, I was reading about tantric. Yantra plus mantra equals tantra. And um, that means that when I, when we, when we, <laughs> when we have, I can't fucking, when we have sex, <clears throat> it means that I can go for such a long time that we need to use some sort of auxiliary lubrication. <laughs> like, I go so long that technology fails us and we can only turn to spirituality. Yes, we can only turn to crystals. After hour 16 of hard fucking with no let up, I'm like a, I'm like a machine that's freshly built. I'm like a locomotive. And you're like a fawn. But a fawn that's able to be fucked for a long time. Jesus. <laughs> so you're like a <laughs> so you're like a you're like a uh, you're like a CD changer that's stuck on like shuffle play. It just goes on forever. <laughs> it just will never end. It's yeah. wild. And, and I've that, heard Use Your Illusion 2 in its entirety 14 fucking times today, but I just I can't turn it off. We just put on the, the CD changer and we decided we're going to have sex until we hear every song. But little did you know, I loaded it with the Van Hagar discography. Oh. I love my baby's pound cake. We gotta. We're we're going to his restaurant next time you're down here. We have to go. I think we need tickets, like to get into that part of the the airports. We may have to get refundable airline tickets to try this place out. What we do is we just like fly to BWI and back for like forty bucks, and just so we can go to Sammy Hagar's restaurant. That's a hot idea. That'd be really good. Why it's totally worth it. Totally it's worth so it. So good. I used thirty thousand fucking American Express points to go get a hamburger at Sammy Hagar's <laughs> restaurant at JFK in my city. It was uh, not the best use of my time or resources. I you know what? I, we just use the shirt money. That's a great use of the shirt money. That's also very good. <laughs> you know, Jesus. some podcasters want to be famous, some podcasters want to be rich. We just want to do fun shit and pull stunts. And uh, as episode 120 comes to a close, we want to thank everybody for listening. <clears throat> um, it's been real. Oh, uh, before I forget, I got to tell you, remember King of the Sauna, the guy who I always see his penis? Uh, yeah. Found out he's actually crazy. So I'm not, I'm not wrong. I'm not. He's not <laughs> exceptionally awesome. gifted at doing saunas. He is just crazy. I walked in behind him two days ago. I didn't realize he got a spider web tattooed on his bald spot, and he started barking at a dog in the lounge. Sick. Uh, the owner was like, uh, can you please not do that? Can you not rile him up? And he just didn't listen. He just kept barking at the dog. Um, awesome. So he's actually crazy. So I learned that was, that's what I learned this week. That's all. Dope. So I wanted to make sure that was clear. Wonderful. Um, I didn't learn much. I learned that if you take two Xanax instead of one, you can become drug robot at work, and nothing bothers you. So Ooh, that's what that's I've been great. doing. That's great. Like uh, that's the most, really good. The most annoying shit happened, and I was like, "It's cool, no problem. Uh, it's fine. I'll do that." Oh, you want me to? What my boss had me f- go on Pet Finder and find adult senior dogs for one of our donors. Jesus. Yeah, and I was like, "No problem." Uh, yeah, sure? I can. I can make that work. What kind do you think they like? Corgis. Shih Tzu. Oh, Shih Tzu. And okay. I was instructed to not say Shih Tzu, but Shih Tzu. Oh Jesus! And I said, wow. And I said, sure, no problem, because I'm on, <laughs> I'm on half a Xanax bar. So honestly, I mean, you could you could drive a nail through the top of my foot, and I'd probably be cool. With it. <laughs> <laughs> so, better living through medicine. Um, so nice robot has become drugged out, strung out on drug robot. Oh, I love this. This, this is gonna, great. This is going to end very well. <clears throat> Jesus. All bug? right. Well. No, nothing at all. This has been 120. I got, I got zilch. What about you? Uh, it's just shout out to Shock from Sam Ash. You're a good sport, Shock. <laughs> good sport. Hope you're, uh, hope you're selling a lot of fucking tuners right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, You'll yeah. take one. Oh yeah. Well, uh, oh guys, you better, you better look sharp. Don, uh, Don Hagar is coming in. Uh. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> I think it was Dan Hagar. Dan Fuck Hagar. It, I don't know. Dan Hagar all is right. coming in. We'll be back next week with uh, 121. 121. 21 Jump Street. 